Please welcome one of the prettiest Americans ever, Kristen Bell, everyone. Kristen Bell. Good, Very it's well. lovely to see you. I, may I say you look a little tiny bit French? I do. A little bit. You Could know, it with be the stripes? stripes and the boots. You look like a little kind of sexy French resistance girl. Thanks. But I... let me just tell you, resistance is futile. Oh, yeah. How are you? I'm excellent. Yes? Yeah. Uh, you are an American, of course, aren't I you? I am, you're, you're yes. Though I did grow up on the border and both my sisters were born in Canada. <gasps> Oh, you didn't tell me this. You have Canadians in your family? I do. That, that's I do. right. I have Canadians in my family. They're much like us. Well, they are. I used to think it was hysterical, though, that my sisters had to carry those cards that said aliens when I was little. Really? It said resident aliens. I think you have to have your full passport now. To cross the border? Yeah. Yeah, you do. And you get a retina scan. <laughs> I made that right up. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did you grow up? In Detroit. Really? Detroit, yeah, Michigan? the heart of the country. Yeah, I've always heard that Detroit's quite rough. Yeah. Is it really? It is. It's, uh, well, they make the cars there, and right. there's a, lo a lot of bad streets. And now everyone can reference 8 Mile. I grew up on 10 Mile, so it's two more miles <laughs> better than 8 Mile. Is it two miles tougher or two miles softer? Softer. All right. That must be kind of embarrassing. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, people say, where did you grow up 10 Mile? Oh, um, la da <laughs> When did you come here? Uh, five years ago. Really? But I lived in New York for five before that. Did you like New York? I loved it. Did you, have you ever heard of the New York Giants? Apparently their football team did very well at the I, weekend. I know, I watched it. Did you, are you a fan? I, well, I, everyone, in, <laughs> everyone in the room was rooting for the Giants, and so I felt I'm not very confrontational, so I did as well. But you're not really a fan, are you? No, well, sure. I'm not not a fan. Well, that's as good an answer as any. <laughs> Did you have any chili when you were watching the game? I did. Vegetarian chili. It doesn't make any difference. It's the beans that do the damage. <laughs> it's been doing damage. Oh, my Lord. Oh, really? Do you have that? I know. <laughs> it's, it, I was sweating. Everybody it. has it. Come really? On. I don't know if everybody has it. I, feel, I felt very bad. And my dog, like, because my dog had been sick last Blame week. Blame it on the dog. Well, I tried blaming it. I'm, I, I blamed it on the dog last week. But they had... <laughs> The you dog, blame it on the dog. My dog was sick last last week, and it, I got up in the middle of the night. Because of the chili? No, no, the dog doesn't eat chili. Oh. Come on. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then uh, the dog was sick. I got up in the middle of the night. The dog had had a little poo inside the house, and I a you know, little one? No, a very big one. <laughs> That's what I thought. Well, he's a German Shepherd. Whoa. Oh, I know. Very big, and he always likes to march at night. <laughs> German, you know. <laughs> and. <laughs> But he had, and also, the, you know, anyway, he had a poo at night, he couldn't help it, and uh, he, um, but I got up, uh, and I thought he'd had a, I thought he'd been sick again, and it wasn't, it was the smell of me smelling of chilli. <laughs> I know, I know, and the dog's like, mm-hmm. That's hideous. I mean, he's not gay, but he did do that. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, he might be gay, I don't know, he doesn't have testicles now, so it's kind of, uh, doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah. uh, is, yeah. he, is he better now? Well, he's still not over the whole testicles thing, but yeah, he's all right. <laughs> you can get noodles. you can put them in you can get i researched it because when i had to neuter my dog i thought this is such a shame because it feels so i feel like i'm taking something away and you can actually yeah there's a website where you can get like really extra small or extra large and i mean ultimately it's you know it's a pretty penny just for their dignity just tell them get over it <laughs> it's a real thing do they make them for humans i don't i don't know do you need them? I may mean, later. I don't know. I, that's extraordinary. Mm -hmm. But does the dog even notice? I mean, it's all the way at the other end. No, it's, it was me, what do you call it, anthropomorphizing. Like you, when you put your... Oh, your thoughts into yeah, the dog's head? Yeah, I thought, man, he's going to be so ashamed. Because you know I'm a major dog person. I have oh, three yeah, dogs. Oh, really? What do you have? Three rescues. I have uh, two corgi mutts, like little tanks. Yes. They, they're really the pudgy. The queen has corgis, do you yeah. Know? yeah. Boom. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then I, ha I adopted a 13-year-old a, a black lab from Katrina, and you're talking about pooping uh, in the house, right. which reminded me that she does it all the time because she's old. Oh, and you, you forgot? What? No. no, I remember every morning about 5.30. Uh, but here's the thing, though. She eats anything. She has no idea. Well, this is water. 
She has no idea. <laughs> what? You are adorable. You are adorable. And thirsty. I know. She has no idea what uh, is food and what is not. Like, she's eaten a deck of cards. She's eaten a pack of cigarettes. She pooped wood chips for like two weeks. And I don't even have wood chips in my yard. And I'm thinking, where did you get this? Yeah, that maybe she's going out and doing some carpentry on I the side. I have no idea. I have no idea what she's doing. Oh, but my Lord. She eats anything. You know, I, I used to have a dog called Joe that did this thing that when he was asleep, especially if like I had my aunt or uh, my in-laws at the time over, this dog Joe, he would sleep and he had this giant... He would sleep on his back, is what I'm saying. And he had an enormous... I can see where you're going with And this. he just would like... And, it, and he would dream like... Whoa, 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 whoa. It was awesome. That's uncomfortable. You know what I should have got him was those little false testicles. Right. He would have looked spectacular. Just yeah. yeah, it would have been like... Oh. If it's going to be a showcase, Yeah, I didn't know you were such a dog person. You're an animal yeah. rights person. You? I'm, a, I'm an animal lover. I'm a big, I mean, I believe they should have a lot of rights. But I've always been the person that, like, I... Actually, when I was growing up, there was a period when I was about four where I didn't even want to eat with my family and I'd make them put my, do my bowl next to the dog dish and eat it with my face. Wow. <laughs> I don't remember that, but that's what my mom tells me. So I've always had issues. I, I did a bit of that. I did a bit you did of... did it? Well, eating off the floor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's called the 80s. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. Yeah. Well, we have to take a break. We have to take a break. Can you hang uh, around? Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll be right back with Kristen Bell, everybody. We'll be right back.